What's going on YouTube? Just now right here. So in today's video we have an update from the Check Rain jailbreak. A new version has been released. We're going to see what's new and whether you should update your jailbreak right now. This video is brought to you by iMobi and their software app Trans which allows you to transfer applications and of course WhatsApp data and so on from a device to another. You can check it out in the link below. It's very simple to use. Definitely check it out. It has a free component and it's actually quite great. So a couple of minutes ago the Check Rain team posted quote Check Rain 0.12.5 4 released with a hotfix for A9X devices on 14.5 and above. Grab it. So it's available now, you can get it, the 0.12.4 available for macOS and Linux. For Linux it does support a lot of architectures from the standard x86-64 to ARM, ARM64 and i4086. So definitely great, you can definitely get it right now. This jailbreak supports iOS 14.5.1, 14.5, 14.2 and of course all the newest and coolest firmware versions. Unfortunately this jailbreak doesn't support the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR and so on. So if you're planning to jailbreak iPhone 12, iPhone 11 or XS and so on, this is not going to work and you have to wait for Uncover or for the Torin jailbreak. But this jailbreak does work on the iPhone 10 and lower and it works with the latest version of iOS right now. So if you have an older iPad or iPhone and so on, for example iPhone 10, 8, 7 and so on, you're definitely lucky because you can jailbreak right now the latest version available. So the update that they have released is not exactly very important, at least not for everybody, but for those of you on the A9X devices, those apparently received a hotfix. But everybody should definitely update their tool right now. Now, I usually keep mine here in the dock and you can see that I'm running 0.12.4. It's always a good idea to use the latest version available of a jailbreak when it comes out. Now if you're curious about the support for iOS 14 and the support for the Apple Silicon Max, because of course they have a completely different architecture, they're running on ARM instead of Intel, you can read their support page here which of course details every single thing about it. There are some issues on the Apple Silicon Max, you know the newer Macs that are available and it says in here quote, this issue only affects USB-C on Apple Silicon Macs and only when using A7, A9X, which was hotfixed, A10 and A10X devices. So basically the iPhone 5S, 7 and 7 Plus, the iPad 6th and 7th generation, iPad Air 1, iPad Mini 2 and 3, iPod Touch 7, Apple TV 4K and so on. If you have an Intel Mac, basically an older one from like last year or a couple of years back, you shouldn't have these problems. However, if you have the newer Mac, you know, the silicon one, you can still use CheckRain, but it may require some manual work, you know, plugging, replugging the device and so on. They detail everything in here. So if you have one of those newer devices, definitely check out this article they posted, the state of check rain on Apple Silicon Macs, because it's important for you. For everybody else, you can just download it. Now the hotfix that they mentioned says in here, quote, hotfix for A9X devices, which could not boot on 14.5 at all with 0.12.3 and fix package dependency issues on the dev repo. So it does contain some important updates, especially for those of you on A9X. It may not be very important for the rest of the people, but it definitely is important for the A9X devices because those could not boot. So yeah, definitely get it right now. You can jailbreak 14.5.1, 14.5 and all the other firmware down to iOS 12. So yeah, thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated. Check out the app trans in the links below and peace out.